so fresh, he did it in front of us. Oh! <laughs> Buongiorno guys, I'm Max Sinestra, I'm in Istanbul and today I'm gonna take you with me on a huge street food tour of the city. Andiamo! Merhaba, bir dona. Guys, this is a very old shop, very famous. I've been recommended by you so many times. So I'm here to try Luccheria. Buon appetito. Oh, oh, crispy. Oh, crispy, crispy meat. Pure beef, 100%. Mm. Look. Oh. Mm. Mamma mia. It's a bit spicy. Oh, yeah, there is chili inside. It's good, I love it. Let's keep exploring. my first time to try this lovely cup meal. It's, uh, I would say, filo dough uh, kind of pie, stuffed with a bit of cheese and pistachio. Oh, looks so crispy and oily. Oh, let's give it a try. Mmm, mmm, with pistachio. Oh, look. Mmm, mmm. Very thin. It's not too sweet. And the layer is very thin and crispy. Mmm. Wow. Oh, look at the cheese. Let's try it out. Mmm. Got a bit of a creaminess to it. It's not sour at all, it's pure cream. Um. Merhaba, uh, Alcatatas, Litan. Oh. Let's go in front of the chef. Ooh. 
he finished making it. Buon appetito. So this is like a churro style. Mmm. Oh. So bizarre. So crispy. Super sugary, full of syrup. Okay, not too much. Oh, I like it. It's a snack, you cannot have many. Oh, nice. First time trying it. This is called Alka Tatus. Cool. Yeah. Today for lunch we came to have some fish. You can see they have a fresh fish. We just picked some, some anchovies, sibas, and owner favorite. So he's going to grill it for us with some salad and drink. Let's see how they cook it. The gentleman is from the Black Sea region and he's making the anchovies that style, super fresh. He chopped the onion, he put some cashew and carabiber, and then he stuffed it. So fresh, he did it in front of us. They are ready, but they want to make fresh for us. Oh! See, cover in corn flour, put it in oil. Yes. Smells so good. Mmm. Te oh. shake le gusta. Yes. Guys, look at this beauty. Caradeni style seafood feast from the Black Sea. Here we have the chef's favorite. I don't know what, but I will put it in the description. This is a sea bus. Everything is grilled. And then the star, the anchovies. I can't wait to give them a try. Let me squeeze some lemon on it. Oh, yes. Et voilà. Buon appetito. Mamma mia, Steph. Ciao, ciao, Guzé. So fresh. Mamma mia. So good. You can taste really the, a bit of the cheese, uh, the onion, Bit of the pepper, so soft. Tasty curry with that. Full of goods. Ah, man, man, no, no, only not greasy at all. And with a bit of lemon on top, just fantastic. Let's try the other one. Put some lemon on it and get a bit of meat. Ciao Guzè, eh? mamma mia, fresh, so meaty, not many bones, I love the crispy skin. Oh, and it's fresh, it didn't put absolutely any. Oh, let me get a bit of the salad, look how colorful. Mm. 
refresh, refreshing. Okay, final fish. Oh, the chef's favorite. Oh, grilled. They didn't put anything on top. They just cleaned it. This one I just want to give a big bite. Mm. Pure natural flavor of the fish. Not fishy at all. This country has a lot to offer in terms of fish. And I'm glad that I came to this uh, local shop. You know, in a local neighborhood, fresh fish you can buy, take it home or get a grilled or fried. Perfect. Oh, look at nice. The owner just brought us Helva. Stuff with the Dondurma, with ice cream. Oh, buon appetito. Mm. Oh, it's hot. Oh. <laughs> So nice! Ciao Guse, what's up? Teshe Kille! So good! So it's uh, sweet but with the nuttiness that balances very well. Mm. Oh. oh, it's blowing me away! Wow! Just wow! Teshe Kille! Meraba! So they invited us into the lab. Look at the door, then the pureria. There is flour in here. They flatten it. They make like little balls. They portion it. Oh, that's for Lac Machun. <laughs> wow. Mamma mia. Oh, it's making lack much food. Tourist. Tourist. Ne kadar kalacaksınız? Oh, the best. Wow, ah, smells good. Oh, oh, lemon. Oh, salad. Okay, let's squeeze a bit of lemon. Let's put a bit of salad in it. Let's roll it. And buon appetito. Mm. Mm. Oh. That's completely different than the lac machun that I tried in the past. There's not much meat, it's not overpowering the, the flavor. Oh, it, it's, um, it's delicate. Look. And look at the colors. Onion, a bit of tomato, chili. Mmm. The chef, Usta. Hola, girls. <laughs> and they also gave us some bread to take home, look. Tell you a little story about this shop. I was walking past two hours ago and uh, I saw them, it was a very local shop. I said, oh, you know what, maybe I'll come back later. And then I still had a good feeling and I was thinking about the shop. I was looking at the um, display of the bread, the owner 
came out with bread. He, he offered us the bread just to take home. They were so nice, they invited us into the lab, they all introduced themselves to us. What a wonderful experience, really. I've been asked by one of the subscribers to um, showcase how they make the bread for the kebabs. And here is the reply. Look, give us the bread, we show the lab. Amazing, really. It was very interesting to me as well. I love bakeries. They offered us everything, bread, luck, machun. What a wonderful experience. Tomorrow morning, guys, we're going to a restaurant that I've been looking forward to visiting for a very long time. And I'm sure you're gonna love it. Andiamo. Guys, this is day two. Meraba usta. Meraba. Oh. kebab. Fern kebab, eh? Uh, kuzu. Kuzu, kuzu. Col. Poyo. Yeah, yes, or neck. Okay. Uh, and they use that? the fat, all right, or the ribs. So they put it in those trays for a little bit to release all the juice and water. And then put it in this big, uh, I would say, cauldron, copper pots. And they put uh, salt and lard. Oh my god, the smell is incredible, guys. And even the sound is so inviting. I, I can't wait. Wow. It's a privilege to be here. Yeah. The master just told me that they don't use any spicy, no additives, so pure natural flavor, only salt. Something exciting coming up for you guys. Kuirok Yagi. Yes, they will give a lot of flavor to the dish. We're going to put some aluminium foil to cook it perfectly and to keep all the juices in and put it back in the oven for two hours. And after that, magic happens. The master put some meat on the side and cook it on the side for us only. Oh, look at this beautiful lamb. We cover the charcoal. Have yet also. Oh, chogguze. Ciao, chogguze. Mamma mia. Oh. Hmm? Some salt. Ah. Mm. Mamma mia. <laughs> uh, what do you want me to say? Illegal. Look. 
Mamma mia, mamma mia. Lamb has always been my favorite meat. They bring it to the next level. The meat is going to be ready in two and a half hours. Now we're going to chill out a little bit and have a chai. Andiamo. The meat is coming out. Can I do it? Oh! Oh! Mamma mia! <laughs> Look! Chok is there. Yeah, four more. So they make six big copper pots. Ah, so beautiful. It smells so good. I can't wait. Oh, more lard. There's two coromas. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and to complete the cooking process, the chef put the meat back in the oven for another 30 minutes. Oh, it's ready! Oh! Wow! <laughs> Mamma mia! Oh, yes! Wow! Mamma mia, mamma mia. Look at the color. Mamma mia. Oh, the smell. I wish you were here, guys. Check your level, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hot. Okay, let's try. Oh, look yeah, at this beautiful meat. Buon appetito. A fiat also. Mamma mia. <laughs> Chocolate, le gusta. Perfect. Three hours cooking. This is better than this morning. Look at the crispy skin. Look at the beautiful color. Mamma mia. The best. The best. Teshekul, le gusta. Teshekul. They're making Atli Ekmek. Konya, the best. Paneer, Yumurta. Kelly. Yes. Pide. Pide. Wow. Oh, te shakur le usta. Oh, so kind. This is fresh, that's the first one of the day. We put cheese, a bit of chili, 
uh, butter and uh, egg. Oh, let's try it out. Buon appetito! Mamma mia! Hey, Mason. Mess in your mouth. Crispy on the edge. So fresh. Collega il sono sta. Wow. Oh yeah. Neck. Yes, it smells great. Yes. Oh. Wow, mamma mia. Oh, it smells so good. Oh. Wow. Oh. Chop is there. Yes. Neck. Cook in the oven. Oh, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Oh, mamma mia. The meat is falling off the bone. Oh, wow. Look. Let's put it on my bread. Oh, the meat. Oh, look at the fat. Wow. Oh, mamma mia, I'm not watering. Let's give it a big bite. Mm. Mm. This is good. I never tasted anything like that. Look at the fight here. Mamma mia. Mm. 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 Look at the meat, look at the meat, it's falling off the bone, look how tender, oh. this is a dream come true. Mamma mia, mamma mia. I don't know what to say. This is perfect. Oh, let's put a bit of bibe. Oh, let's cut it into. Oh, yes. Let's put a bit of chili, tomatoes. Oh, the meat is so juicy. Mm. No, no, no. Let me get a piece of this bread that completely soaked up all the juices. Oh, yes. This is a dream come true. My words cannot describe how happy I am. I honestly never tasted any gill like that. Let's deeper in the juice. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Pure cream. Oh, guys, still I keep on saying this. I think this is the best meat I've ever had. Oh, really. Unbelievable, guys. It's been a privilege for me to be here. Honor for me to be here and witness the entire preparation. Unbelievable. Incredible, guys. This meal is illegal. The usta just brought us some pide. How beautiful. With cheese, tomatoes, biber. Ah. 
un appetito te c'è più te c'è più qual è che si gusta eh? mm. mamma mia <ride> c'ho tre lettere crispy mmm look at a lot of herbs mm. They are, oh yes. They are spoiling me so much. Mamma mia. Uh, I, I can't get enough of the... I can't get over the hospitality in Turkey. Wow. Unbelievable. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Unbelievable, guys. They also gave us a little gift. I want to open it. Oh! Oh! The car! <laughs> Mamma mia, they are amazing. Andiamo. That's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up. Share with friends and family. If you want more content like this, make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload. And see you on the next video. Ciao!